Give me a check and I fuck it up. Give me a check and I fuck it up. Give me a check and I fuck it up. Oh shit. Oh shit. Gonna fight back with another reaction video. We got How to Get Rich by Acting Rich. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Let's get it. Acting what if I told you that acting. almost everyone who got rich and famous fast used this method? And the only method. reason this method works fast. Hold on. We gotta see if this method works. I might have to try this. <laughs> use the riches to get more fame, to get more riches, to get more fame, know, but... etc. It's called the Influencer Infinite Money Group. I'm going to explain nah. the most famous examples of this group. Then I'm going to tell you how anyone nah. can do it starting from zero. I might even give you some riches to start with. Let's go. First example, Quan. Quan is a perfect example of this because he literally goes viral on YouTube just for Fact. buying nice cars and spending money. His first video when he started the glitch is called buying a Hellcat at 19. Now a Hellcat's a cheap car, it's only a $40,000 car. And it's a fucking Mopar. The only place I would drive a Mopar is off a fucking cliff. But <laughs> kids like Hellcats. If True. the title was, I'm buying a Toyota Land Cruiser, it would no have got like thinking. 10 views. No even though that's it. a more expensive car. Then he starts making hella videos about the Hellcat. Muffler delete on the Hellcat. Why buy the kid on the Hellcat? Then this nigga buys another Hellcat. Bro blew up fast, bro. Fast. Hellcat. It makes a whole other series of videos about that Hellcat. Before he could even afford the Hellcat, he was getting Hellcat views, clickbaiting people, saying, am I buying a Hellcat today? This is not on accident, though. Now he's making so much money from these YouTube views. Long story short, he kept making content. If you add up all the views from all his Hellcat videos and estimate an average CPM, which means how much you get paid per video view. He made forty to fifty thousand dollars off of those Hellcat views. There's also Damn. important steps he took with the content. He started making way longer content because YouTube's goal is not really to entertain you; it's to keep you on the app for as long as possible. That's why I give you guys a free gift if you show me you watched all my videos. He just kept doing the same thing. He kept trading up and trading up. Now he has nah, a McLaren and an did. AMG GTS. He went from bullshit scat packs to two hundred thousand dollar cars. He went from wearing fucking plastic chains to real deal bust downs. And it all started with that one Hellcat. Now I'll show you how to get your Hellcat to start this glitch later in the video. Another YouTube example, DDG. DDG. Look at this video of DDG. I had sixty thousand dollars in it. I was gonna say, did he really act rich? Or was it? Was it? I don't know. We'll find out. You never know, right? Real deal you really don't. Downs. And it all started with that one crazy. Hellcat. Now I'll show you how to get your Hellcat to start this glitch. I see how DDG did. Another YouTube example, DDG. Look at this video of DDG. I had sixty thousand dollars in the bank when I got that i8. Following month, I made hundred k. It's an investment. He only had sixty k in his bank account, dead broke, and he spent all of that money on a BMW i8 that he made so many videos about that he made one hundred thousand the very next month. So that's Damn. the YouTuber influencer infinite money glitch. You spend hella money acting rich for your videos so you get more views. You get paid for those views so you spend more money on acting rich for your videos, which gives you more views, etc., etc. Now DDG is just starting off as a rapper, but would you be surprised if the greatest rapper did this method? Keep watching. You no. Know Nah, you fuck around and you really might. I'm trying to think. A lot of things could go bad here. You fuck around and spend 60 bands on a car and your shit don't pop off. Who else does this? Mr. Beast, the yeah. most subscribed YouTuber. He buys the nice cars and shit for everyone else. Gonna be living himself, that bitch. Still. And the way Mr. Beast did it was actually beautiful. His first big video came from a sponsor. So already he was getting a bit of money from the views, but now he's getting even more money from a sponsor that the average YouTuber would put in his own fucking pocket. Right. Mr. Beast gave it back to the fans. It's sponsored by Quid. You know, they gave me money and I'm giving away their money. And did a video called tipping pizza delivery drivers like 500 bucks or something. He invested more money, but he got way more views. But he, just like a lot of people on this list, ended up using cars. His next major video right after that was homeless man buys a Lamborghini. Big ass Lamborghini in the thumbnail. Just like Quan had Hellcats in the thumbnail. And obviously that brought him in a ton oh, of This shit might be the way. Which he can invest in. I never even thought about it like this. Getting more and more and more views and then doing crazier and crazier Lambo or just expensive videos in general. Money, views, expensive shit, views, money, expensive shit, views, money. Blue Bucks Clan, the biggest rappers in LA right now. And yes, they're good at rapping, but what separated them from every other rapper who was good at rapping was they just seemed rich as fuck. It's even in the name, Blue Bucks Clan. And that's what made them famous. Let's look at their first video that blew them up. This video was three years ago. Look, they have the blue Lambo. This is definitely a rented car. Look at the fashion. Slightly expensive, but not the real expensive shit. They rented these cars to a peer rich that got them views and plays on their music, which helped them make more money, which got them actually rich, which allowed them to buy more cars. An exotic car company called Super way. Stupid let them have a business. I knew better get on that. In exchange for a shout out in the rap songs. Listen. 
can't hit with us. Sound super stupid. Niggas got me in the Bentley truck. Maybe I'll give one of y'all a Bentley truck for free. Somewhere in the last three minutes of the video. Now let's break down their finesse step by step. First, they had to spend it strategically. You may right. think, oh, they're renting cars, they're broke. No, if you add up the cost for all those rentals across all those videos, it's at least a hundred thousand. And if they save that hundred thousand, like your parents or your dumbass teachers would probably tell you to do, they have a nice little apartment, a nice little <laughs> BMW. <laughs> they'll live in cheap shit, they'll be driving cheap shit. But instead they took that risk and now they're rich as fuck. Next, they monetize the music. They're not signed to a major label. They got like 10 songs with a million plays on Spotify. Damn. Average plays like 5 million. So that's 50 million streams just I don't on know Spotify. Who they are. And they're bigger on YouTube and Apple Music. So let's just say 150 million streams total. Spotify pays half a cent for each stream. So let's do the math. 150 million streams times half a cent. That's 750,000. You want to flip 100 bands into 750? That's how you do it. And that's not even counting shows. So are you going to do this? Because <laughs> we need you to... Since you know everything, bro, we need you to try this shit out. And when we see that shit actually work with our own two eyes, then uh, that's when we'll try it. Features, promo, merch. But I hope you didn't think it was just rapper type individuals getting rich with this method. Ever heard of the Stradman, the biggest car YouTuber? Literally nah. did this method as well. He started off homeless. When he started his YouTube channel, he was living in his shitty ass Audi. Now he drives a fucking Bugatti. And not just a Bugatti, 20 other cars too, including Damn. a Bentley truck. I may give you a Bentley truck, watch to the fucking end. When he was sleeping in his car, he didn't just do it anywhere. He did it in LA, which is the place for influencers to be. And there's also a ton of nice ass cars in LA. He was just making videos, filming the cars he saw. It's called car spotting. He built an okay audience with this and started getting a little bit of YouTube money. Over a couple years of the struggle, sleeping in his car, making YouTube videos every single day, he saved up Damn. around 90,000. This is probably predictable at this point, but did he A, Spend the 90000 on a responsible investment. Put it in his fucking Roth IRA. No! He spent it all on a Lamborghini. Keep in mind, I don't even think he could afford rent at this time. He was sleeping on his fuck? boss's couch or something. And when he couldn't sleep there, he slept in the Lambo. Nah, imagine buying a Lamborghini, but you don't have nowhere to stay. That's that orange Lambo made his YouTube channel take <laughs> the fuck off. And just like DDG, and that I very guess, next bro. month, he made I, all... I ain't gonna lie. It is a, it's a, that's a big risk, my nigga. And a lot of people aren't willing to take that. And I'm... I might be one of them. The money he spent on that orange Lambo back. I don't know. And then he got a fucking white McLaren. And one month after getting that white McLaren, he hit a million subscribers on YouTube. At this point, he's the biggest car guy on YouTube. He's making 150000 a month. And he's set for bro. fucking life. He just built a $4 million house. But he got there from sleeping in his limbo. And it's not just the Strad man on the car side of YouTube. Hoovy's Garage did this as well. Hoovy's Garage drives a million dollar Lamborghini Countach. But he started from the motherfucking bottom like Drizzy Drake. Hoovy was broke as hell. hell he didn't no. have shit. But he saw all the other car YouTubers already had all the nice cars. So he couldn't compete on that. That's why he bought the cheapest Mercedes S-Class in the country. Because he knew that would get him a lot of views. And all those views made him a ton of money. Which he used to buy the cheapest Phantom in the USA. More views. More money. Better cars. Repeating the cycle all the way up to a $2 million lamb chop. With a shitty ass $4,500 car. So we know it works for white YouTubers, black YouTubers, but there's no way the greatest rapper of all time who happens to be white and black did this method right. The biggest rapper in the world, Drake, came up renting a fucking Rolls Royce. He even admitted it and made an Instagram post about it. Drake didn't just drive around the Phantom oh, and rub on the leather. He used it to bring up his image in the city so that people would pop out to his shows more. He used it to drive to other people's shows to network with people like Cash XO and who put Drake and most Toronto artists on. But okay, rappers and car YouTubers, they both show flashy things off. But there are people who don't even do that to take advantage of this method. Motherfuckers are getting rich with nerd YouTube. This fucking guy, Ali Abdal, his claim to fame was how to take notes on an iPad. Six million of the stupidest fucking people on the planet. Bro, it really do be them channels, bro. Tons of views. That shit crazy. Bro, it's just like educational videos. Educational videos, because they're up for forever. And someone's always going to look it up. So they, they can stay there forever and make money over time. How to take pretty much forever. Switch to Shopify and sell smarter at every stage of your business. Like, like how to take do something? Control. How to make something? A big ass YouTube audience. But then he sells that Those audience. Those channels are going to be there course. forever. Like how to be the biggest nerd ever. How to get zero bitches. My bad, bro. You're way richer than me, bro. You're good. Biggest <laughs> nerd ever. How to get zero bitches. 
Jeez. My bad, bro. You're way richer. <laughs> I thought that was with the videos. Off it. that course, he started making 27 bands a week. Then he made a video on how to make 27 bands a week. And it's his most popular video. And it's like, I'm sure he's a smart dude or whatever. But he genuinely doesn't know shit about making money. Look at this. I showed you 10 ways to make 10 bands. From door-to-door -door sales, which anyone can do if you have the balls to talk to strangers. To dog trading, which anyone can do if they have the balls to go to Mexico. I'm giving you... Wait, what? Most popular video and it's like i'm sure he's a smart dude or whatever but he genuinely doesn't know shit about making money look at this i showed you 10 ways to make 10 bands from door-to-door -door sales which anyone can do if you have the balls to talk to strangers nah that shit not it i'm sorry that shit ain't it going to door to door niggas don't want to talk niggas be mad to dog yeah, trading, which anyone can that do shit ain't worth it. I'm telling you right now. I'm giving you rare I don't know what the fuck he's talking about with that. Whereas eight of his nine ways to get rich require you to already be a fucking famous YouTube nerd. Starting a YouTube channel. Starting a podcast. The same shit. Becoming an affiliate marketer. It's like when you see the YouTubers put the Amazon referral links in their description. But you have to be big on YouTube for that. Selling a digital product. You need an audience to do that. Selling a course. You need an audience to do that. Also, a course is a fucking digital product. And this motherfucker has 12 million views. What the fuck? And yeah, actually, at first, fuck? I was keeping it cool. Saying nerd jokes. I was just kidding. I'm the biggest fucking nerd but now i really want to fight this asshole because he said this that is all a scam it's not gonna work there is no way to get rich quick it is not a thing so if you're looking for a get rich quick scheme those things just i'm sorry dumbass who has more views than me for some reason if there's no way to get rich quick explain to me why my young nigga xavier at 18 years old made 40 bands in the first three days of launching a clothing brand with tiktok explain to me how my boy miles at age 18 closed a sixty thousand dollar real estate deal now drum roll please the section we've all been waiting for how you can do it your fucking self and how i'm gonna make sure i help you step one is be great at making content Quan was already making funny and very fashionable content. Drake made great music. Mr. Beast made clever and wacky YouTube videos. You have to get really good at content and there's four ways that anybody can do it. Even if you're not an amazing rapper like Drake. Right. One is great personality. Believe it okay. or not, personality can be trained. Go For to sure. your local comedy classes if you're not fucking hilarious oh. or- Bro, don't go- I, Who's going to motherfucking a comedy class? Come on, bro. We're not doing outstanding that. person. Number two, great risk. People who take big ass risks in their content, like. See, I have yes, a hard time with that. Don't have to be interesting or funny because people will still watch because they want to live vicariously through them. People who go to war zones in film. Or even a negative version of this is the people who do fucked up pranks like the acid attack prank or the kid that <laughs> broke into someone's house. At the end of the day, if you do things other people are scared to do, you will get tons of views. Next, great value. This is kind of where I come in. Because but that is a lot of. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of risks on that side. You might die. I'm an insanely valuable person, gain an insanely valuable skill, or just gain a ton of stupid. valuable information, and then share that. Hormozy is another good example. His content is never humorous or never really entertaining, but you learn so much from watching it that everyone who wants to be someone watches Alex Hormozy's content. Last is a great camera. If your content's bad in all the other ways, but it's shot very well. Great choice of lenses, great choice of shot and shot composition. It will be so beautiful and mentally pleasing to watch that you will get tons of views. Okay, now let's get to the part you wanted to hear how to get your fucking Hellcat for free. I showed you how to get 40,000 on rjack.net, but I'll reiterate it here. Step nah. one, get amazing credit. If you don't have it, watch my other credit video. Step two, apply to credit unions. Navy Fed and DCU are two great ones that are both known to give you 20,000 on your first credit card as long as you step three. Get a fat pledge loan within my daily five or 10,000 for both and set up weekly deposits. But if you don't have that 10 to 20,000 to put down, but I know you guys feel kind of weird about me selling a course. You guys feel like most courses are scams. So even though you do have to buy the course to most of them are, bro. Get the full breakdown of how to get the Hellcat. And even though the course does come with a Hellcat guarantee, what if I gave you something better than a Hellcat? What if I put your bitch ass in a Bentley truck? Anyways, the last thing to Hell consider nah. before I address the fucking elephant in the room is relationships. Literally all of these dudes use relationships to boost their clout. Whether it was real or fake, they implemented a girlfriend or wife into their channel because females like that lovey-dovey shit. Half of the world's population is females. So by adding that shit in, you now appeal to females, literally doubling your viewership. So Luminati yeah. even said many times, I'm gonna start a fake relationship and get more views. Then he started a fake relationship really did. and got more views. You think I'm not? All hot girls in LA DM me on Instagram. We'll get rich and famous. But now let's address the fucking elephant in the room. 
our jack sells courses isn't our jack doing this glitch right now let's set a couple things straight. No, no. i was making thousands a day as a teenager i don't need your fucking money and besides the money i've made my knowledge of the financial system and how to finesse it is greater and besides that even harvard and wharton haven't made as many young niggas as hey, yo, rich i think i've been seeing but this i might have been seeing this nigga on TikTok. I rarely be on TikTok, but I think I might have seen it. Yes, on TikTok. I sell courses. I made like 30 bands the past month off courses. I did, but I'm giving it all back to y'all. $60,000 Porsche plus $60,000 worth of courses equals a $120,000 Bentley truck that I'm going to give for free to one of y'all. I swear to God, I'm not lying. If I am, report my channel, call me a scammer in every comment, but it's not going to be easy. First off, to enter, you could buy a course or take action on any method that on my YouTube or TikTok. Hell nah. And he got to be bands. He did. He did. He did. He did. You can. And anyone who's previously bought a course or taken action and made money, including all of them, is automatically entered. There's also a third way to enter. I'm going to say later. So, yeah, you want a fucking Bentley truck? You don't get to just keep watching my content and dreaming about getting rich or making a plan to get rich. You got to actually fucking do it now. This is just the beginning. We doing Ferraris and mansions next. We just switched around the triangle. It's like the Mr. Beast triangle. The more views I get. The more money I get, the more money I can give for free to y'all, giving me more views. Oh yeah, and the third way to enter, if you're so fucking scared and you want to be broke for the rest of your life, you can still enter the contest to be a broke bitch in the Bentley by <laughs> not only watching all my YouTube videos and turning all the bars right at the bottom so it shows you watched it. You automatically get a free gift when you do that. But then, unsubscribing from every other YouTube channel, hitting not interested on every single YouTube video that's not an RJack YouTube video until your YouTube homepage literally only shows RJack content. You show me a screenshot of that, I'll enter you to Y'all niggas gonna have a better car than me, man. You see how much I fuck with y'all? That was actually a good video, bro. Hold on. What if I told you? Hold on. Pretty much, bro. And nah, he was kind of, bro, bro was really basically on point with a lot of shit. I ain't gonna lie. For real. But if y'all like that video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Because y'all niggas the next one, man. I'm out. I get me a check and I fuck it up. Yeah. Give me a check and I fuck it up. Yeah. Give me a check and I fuck it up. Yeah.